Nigerian exams body Jam bars an umbrella candidate Miss Soma for three years from taking UTME over alleged forgery. In a statement made available on Tuesday morning by the board spokesman Fabian Benjamin, Jam insisted that only Miss Soma parried an obsolete notification slip out of all the candidates that sat the 2023 UTME. The Joint Administrations and Matriculation Board on Tuesday morning said that it has barred an Umbra State candidate, Ms. Omar Jikeme, for three years over alleged forgery of UTM results. Consequently, the board would like to reassure Nigerians that its system was neither tampered with or compromised, as the candidate simply falsified a copy of a result slip of a candidate named Ami Asimi Miriam Omobolani who sat the UTME in 2021 and scored 138. It is also instructive to note that the candidate in her statement had inadvertently revealed the rightful owner of the results she is parading when she pointed out that the QR code on the result slip showed the actual owner of the said result before she peddled in a lie in an attempt to obfuscate the truth. To witness the unassailable position of the board regarding this obvious falsehood, the general public is therefore urged to endeavor to scan the QR code on the result slip to its actual owner before it was mutilated. It is to be noted that the QR code encapsulates the UTM results of each candidate, hence what is on the result sheet is nothing other than the interpretation of the information on this QR code. Furthermore, the public is also to note that the board stopped issuing notification of result slips after the 2021 UTME for the simple reason that candidates were falsifying them. Consequently, the board has been issuing actual UTME result slips since 2022, complete with the photograph of each candidate. Similarly, the public is also invited to ponder on the fact that out of all the candidates this, that sat the 2023 UTME, only Miss Ejikeme Misoma parades the obsolete notification of results. In the meantime, the management of the board, considering the weighty infraction committed by Miss Ejikeme Joy Misoma, and in line with its established procedures, has withdrawn her 2023 UTM result and also barred her from sitting the board's examination for the next three years. Sahara reporters on Monday reported that Ms. Omar spoke in a trending video posted on various Twitter accounts and other social platforms, saying she was traumatized by the JAM media sponsorship against her that she forged her UTM results. Reacting to JAM's forgery claims, Ms. Omar vehemently denied the forgery claim insisting that she printed the results from the jam portal. She queried that if she forged the result that was printed from the jam portal, did she also form forge the jam text message to her that corroborated the results she later printed? Ms. Uma stated in this trending video on Sahar Potter said on Monday evening, saying, My name is Ajikimi Misuma, I am the owner of the result holding the print out of the disputed jam score. I went to Jam Porter to print this result, and this is what they gave me, and this is the total result. There are my aggregate 362, and this is exactly how I printed it after download, I downloaded it from that site. I mean, now she's bad for three years, but thing is... It's a very strong campaign against her. I'm not really sure what her age is, but um, for the fact that her full name, <laughs> like they even included Joy, the fact that her full name is being paraded over social media isn't necessarily the best of things um, because it's not necessarily a crime that needs her identity being um, published. So... I mean, you can see that this person, of course, is not right to do that. Um, and a bar for three years to 
not write the exams it's actually quite a it's quite a hefty one because that obviously would delay her um but then again people are carrying different stories of what her original results were that it was about 230 something and then she forged it and increased it to 360 something so it doesn't make sense why the person that she forged the results from would have a result of 132 if the person's identity is on it so then how it I, I really don't understand the jam process. It really doesn't make sense to me. Um, this, is, this is so weird and very strange. Um, now, let's look at the um, reactions on Twitter. Ruben Abati says, Ejikeme doesn't have the brain to forge results. Innocent hits back at jam on alleged results for okay that's what innocent has said um now she's obviously made a video um and yeah it might be that she would need a lawyer because it's just not straight um they if, if they have evidence against that they also need to parade the qr code of the person that she's allegedly using their name to fraud and why would she fraud herself with someone who got a lower score than her doesn't make sense um but yeah if it's a fraud well she's put herself in that danger and maybe she'll need a lawyer because the story isn't straight so when it isn't straight it's like dangerous to put it out of the court of public opinion when we're not necessarily well it depends if you're not conversant with the jam processes then you wouldn't really know what to say and those who've gone through the process before will probably have a bit more accuracy in describing how these results were either forged or not. Put what you think in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe.